With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, I am your teacher for this question and the question is 1 liter of a sample of hot water contain 4.44 mg of calcium chloride and 1.9 mg of magnesium chloride. So what is the total hardness in terms of ppm of calcium carbonate? So, in this question, it is given that in a 1 liter of sample of hot water, calcium chloride is present 4.4 milligram and magnesium is chloride is present 1.9 milligram and we have to calculate its total hardness in terms of ppm of calcium carbonate. So, what is hardness? Hardness of water is due to the presence of calcium and magnesium salts and when they are treated with some carbonate source, it will be converted into calcium carbonate. So, Hardness of water in terms of ppm can be calculated as total mass of calcium carbonate upon mass of water into 10 raised to power 6. So, it will be calculated in ppm. Now, when calcium cl uh, chloride reacts with carbonate source it will form calcium carbonate so the number of equivalents of calcium chloride number of equivalents of calcium chloride will be equal to number of equivalents of calcium carbonate number of equivalents of calcium carbonate and number of equivalents is equal to number of moles into valency factor here valency factor will be 2 as it the charge on the ions will be plus 2 and minus 2 so valency factor is 2 into number of moles is given weight of calcium chloride that is 4.4 milligram upon its molecular weight that is 111 gram per mole equals to number of equivalents of calcium carbonate would be weight of calcium carbonate to its molecular weight that is 100 gram per mole into its valency factor for this its ion charge will be calcium 2 positive and CO3 2 negative carbonate so it's also valency factor is 2 so this will be cut by this so we have to calculate the weight of calcium carbonate from here so weight of calcium carbonate would be 4.44 into 100 upon 111 this will give us 100 so 4 milligram so weight of calcium carbonate is 4 milligram when now when magnesium chloride forms calcium carbonate so the number of equivalents of magnesium chloride would be equal to number of equivalents of calcium carbonate number of equivalents of MgCl2 is equal to number of equivalents of magnesium carbonate sorry calcium carbonate here the charge on the ion is plus 2 so its valency factor is 2 and number of moles would be given weight that is 1.9 gram milligram to its molecular weight that is 95 equals to the number of equivalents of calcium carbonate which is equal to the moles into valency factor its valency factor will be 2 and weight of calcium carbonate we have to find this and the molecular weight is 100 gram per mole so from this we also calculate the weight of calcium carbonate this will be equal to 1.9 into 100 divided by 95. So, 19 fives are 95. So, it will give us 2 milligram. So, from here the weight is 4 milligram and 2 milligram is here. So, the total weight of calcium carbonate or total mass of carbonate calcium carbonate is 6 milligram. Now, to calculate the hardness, we have the total weight or mass of calcium carbonate and the mass of water should be there. So, mass of water would be as the 1 liter sample is present. It means the volume of water is present given. Volume of water is 1 liter. And we know the density of water is 1 gram per ml. Density of water is 1 gram per ml. As 1 liter is equal to 1000 ml. So, from this using density is equal to mass by volume we can calculate mass by multiplying density with volume so mass of water would be 
its density that is 1 gram per ml into 1000 which will be equal to 1000 grams. So now we can calculate the hardness of water. So hardness of water would be hardness of water in ppm would be total mass of calcium carbonate that is 6 milligrams. So for milligrams we have to convert this into grams and 1 milligram is equals to 10 raised to power minus 3 gram or 1 gram is equal to 10 raised to power 3 milligrams. So it would be 10 raised to power minus 3 grams upon the total weight of water that is 10 raised to power 3 grams into 10 raised to power 6. So when this will go above it will form 10 raised to power minus 6 and this is 10 raised to power 6 so they will cancel out each other and it gives 6 ppm. So the hardness of water in terms of ppm is 6 ppm. So I hope you understood the solution. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.